Hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome to a quest guide for Chapter Three of Monkey Madness. So I wanted to mention something really quick before this video. Um, a lot of you guys are asking me why I'm uploading in parts and not just waiting and uploading the whole video. Um, this quest is really long, so I think uploading in parts will be more beneficial to people uh, rather than watching a video that's like an hour and a half to two hours long. I think it'll be a lot easier watching in parts. So if you have to stop in between, uh, you can end on a certain video and you know not have to remember. Oh, okay, I was an hour and a half into this one. I'll go back there later. What I'm actually going to be doing after I finish all these is uploading them all into a single part. So you guys can have your preference if you want to watch all the parts or the uh, video with all the parts together. So for chapter 3, there is this annoying ass maze on this dock you have to do. I'm trying my best to explain it. I know a lot of people who still haven't finished it and basically quit the game or rage quit for a pretty long time because they couldn't do it. So for this, what you're going to need is actually there's two parts. This is just for the first part, but it's pretty quick. So you need teleport runes to get to Trollheim. You need some prayer potions, some food. You actually probably don't need this because we're going to be safe spawning, but bring it anyway just in case. Um, you're going to need some GP. Um, I think it's like 20 coins or something, but just bring like 1k. Uh, stamina potion is always nice, and we're going to be safe spawning with range, so make sure you guys bring some ranged gear. And also bring a ring of dueling or a way to get to castle wars. You can minigame, teleport, whatever you want. Basically, the essentials you need range gear, ring of dueling, Trollheim teleports. So the first thing we're going to be doing is teleporting to Trollheim. And just follow where I go, we're going to make our way into the Stronghold. Alright, so once you guys are here, you will see the NPC called Cobb. Go ahead and talk to him. Also... Actually, I think this might be better. Turn on Protect from Melee before you talk to him because he's going to hit you right after you finish talking. Uh, I don't know if he can hit through prayer or not, but it's probably better to do it anyway. So turn on Protect from Melee and talk to Cobb. And select the first option. And then the first option again. And now you will get the option to fight him and accept his challenge. Right when you guys press Accept, run out this door over here because he's going to start attacking you. I guess he does hit through prayer. So just run out the door over here. And you'll see that he is in a safe spot, so you can just sit here and kill him. Uh, I'll be back once he is dead. Alright, so once you guys get him to pretty low health, he will talk to you. And he will say he will call off the attack. Once he says that, you can basically leave. So, Alright, so now you guys can go ahead and teleport to Castle Wars. Now, I do want to show you guys this whole route. Um, I know a lot of other people will just skip this, but uh, for the sake of uh, guides, I do want to show everywhere to go. I, I don't want to just skip to random locations. So, I'm going to run over here right now, and I will see you guys over there. Make sure you do have coins, or you won't be able to get over this annoying ass bridge. So I'll see you guys once I get to the next boss we have to kill, which is also safe spotable. So for some reason, it turns out I didn't have to pay the money. Last time I went over here, I had to pay it. So I'll put in hand notation, I guess, saying you don't need coins. I mean, you might as well bring them anyway, because that's very awkward. Uh, every time I come over here, I've had it, actually had to pay to get over that bridge. So I don't know. Um, we'll see. I guess you guys should probably just bring coins anyway. I mean, it's not going to hurt anybody. So you will see Keith over here. Go ahead and talk to him and select the first option. And then select the second option. Now, it's going to be the same deal. Um, you're going to challenge him to a fight. I believe there's two safe spots here. I think you can go behind this tree or over the bridge. I'm going to try the tree first. If that fails, then I'll go to the bridge. But yeah, he's going to attack you right when you accept the challenge. I think you can just run over the tree. Yeah, so you can just run over to this tree here and safe spot him. So I'll be back once he gets to really low HP and surrenders again. Alright, so once you guys have him almost dead, just go through the dialogue options and you'll be done with this part. You can always go and check to here. You'll see that 
this should be done and I should report back to Garcor. So we're going to go ahead and head back to Garcor. I'm going to go to the bank and get all of the items we need for the next part. So I will see you guys there in a second. All right, so the final part of chapter three, you need a Crook Monkey Grigory. Make sure you get the Crook Monkey Grigory. None of the other ones will work for this part. I also get a Monkey Speak Amulet. And basically, once you guys get this, just equip it. I just wanted to show it in my inventory so you guys didn't get confused. Also, make sure you get weight reducing gear. I really recommend you guys take Graceful. Um, also, you need a ton of stamina potions for this next part because it's a pain in the ass. And if you run out of energy here, you're going to hate yourself. Uh, so get a lot of staminas, and also you need teleport runes to get to Ape Atoll. So once you guys have all of this, go ahead and teleport to Ape Atoll. Now, basically what we need to do in a second is find someone around here, but first we need to go and talk to, um, I forgot his name, but you guys, you guys will just follow where I go. So turn into your monkey, go down here, and you, we're going to go talk to that guy next, the king again. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, so once you guys get to guard court, talk to him. And basically, you're going to tell him that you've done everything you wanted to, getting the information, having them stop the attack and stuff. And now he's going to tell you to go and look for someone named Assistant Lay something. I'm not going to say it. I think it's Assistant Lay Smith. I don't know. But you, you have to look around. There's many locations this person can be. So what I'm going to be doing is actually going to all the locations. Uh, if you guys do end up finding this person at the first location, since it is random for everyone, uh, just go ahead and skip through the video until you find the part where I find them. But I'm going to be going through all the spots that they can be at just in case, because uh, like I said, it's going to be random for everyone. So the first place we're going to be going to is on the third floor over here of the temple. So just follow where I go and we're going to go to the first spot. Alright guys, so this is the first spot, which is a pain in the ass to get to. So if you guys do have this, uh, you guys should be following everywhere I'm going because it's random for everyone. Um, if you have this location, Assistant Lay whatever will be right here for you. So if he is here for you, then um, basically just wait until the end of this where I find him or skip ahead in the video to find him. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the next location now, which is the third floor of the jail. I'm going to start back at... Um, the NPC near the king. So I'll see you guys back over there. All right, so I'm just going to be starting from the start of the temple. So once you guys get here, we're going to be heading to the third floor of the jail. So once again, just follow where I go. <laughs> All right, so once you guys climb this ladder, uh, Assistant Lay Smith will be over here, if that's the spot for you. Sadly, it's not for me. I guess for the sake of this video, having to do all the spots anyway, it's better to be at the last spot. So uh, if he's here for you, once again, just skip through the video to where I find him. Uh, the next spot we have to go through is the bridge. So since we're here already, I'm just going to continue over there since it's faster anyway. So now just continue where I go again if, you, if he's not here for you and he was not at the other spot for you. <laughs> All right, so for me, Assistant Lay Smith is here. I think there's three spots. There might be four. I'm going to look really quick. So when you guys have found him, talk to him. And the options you're going to do if you want to spam through this is 1, 2, 1, 1. Select that option 1, and option 2, and then option 1, and 1 again. Alright, so now we need to go back and talk to Garkor again, or the NPC near the king. who We've been basically talking through this whole quest. So I think there is one other possible location that um, this monkey can be. Or not this monkey, this NPC, Assistant Lay Smith can be. And it's by like um, the monkey child. I'm not sure if it's actually a spot or not, but we're going to go check. Anyway, 
I'll just show you guys the general area in case you guys haven't found him yet, but I'm pretty sure there is only three spots, but, you know, in case, since it is random, there is four, I don't want to leave anybody being screwed over, so, uh, you guys actually might have seen him if you, you had him over here when we were running, so, um, if you guys do have this spot, he's going to be somewhere over here, um, I think this is the monkey child, yeah, so he'll be somewhere near the monkey child if you have this location, if it does exist, um, if you still don't see him here and everywhere we've gone, climb up like a ladder over here and he might be up here, but uh, this is the last possible known location, so if you guys have him already, let's go back to Garkor, and then comes like the most annoying part of this entire quest, we basically need to go on this platform and hide past a bunch of things. I can't remember which quest it was, it's one of the troll quests where you needed to get one of the weeds and you basically had to, um, you know, hide behind boxes and if NPCs saw you, you'd get teleported back to the start. It's basically like that, but like 50 times harder. Um, you get to the end, you basically get satchels and then you need to plant them all over the docks, so... I'll try my best to guide you guys through that, but it's probably going to be a pain in the ass to do. Uh, like I said, I know a lot of people who have basically given up on the quest because of it. So once you guys get back to Garkor, go ahead and talk to him. And basically he'll tell you about all you need to do with the platform and stuff. So uh, if you guys want to check your quest guide to make sure you're in the right spot, this is what it should say. You need to sabotage the airships. So I'll see you guys back at the bank and try to explain my best on how to do this. So the first thing I wanted to say is you do not have to go back to a bank if you don't want to. I just want to get more stamina potion. So I want to say it as fast as I could before maybe you guys teleported or anything. So um, basically if you teleport, just go back to Apatol. Uh, same thing, you just need a bunch of stamina potions. Uh, the Cruck Monkey Gree Gree and Graceful Gear. Um, I believe you do need the Monkey Speak Amulet as well. So basically everything we had, just get some more stamina potions out. So equip your Crook Monkey Gree Gree and now we're going to head to the west side of the island. So we'll see you guys over there in a second. Alright, so once you guys are over here, you will see a monkey guard. Make sure you're wearing Crux Monkey Gugri and not another Gugri. I mean, I've been saying to basically the whole video to use Crux, so... Uh, if you guys do, for some reason, use a different one and you can't talk to him, that's why. So go ahead and talk to the monkey guard. Ask him what's going on here. Select the first option. And then select the second option, can I visit the platform? So, now is where it, it starts to get really annoying. So, showing you guys how to do this is essentially going to be like showing you the um, the first maze we did in the tunnels. Uh, this is very complicated and very tricky. It's very tedious and it could piss you off, piss you off pretty quickly. Uh, the one thing I'm going to tell you guys, go slow, take your time. If you rush this, you're going to hate yourself because in the long run, it will take you a lot longer. So, the objective of this is to basically get through here and you have to get to the end, pick up six satchels. And also, if you guys fail, you do take damage. So... Um, if you're going to fail a lot, make sure you bring some food. It doesn't really matter in the end because you can always just teleport and get back here pretty quickly. So um, what you're going to want to do is get to the end of this and collect six satchels. After you get the six satchels, you're going to have to go to another part and collect some explosives that you place into the satchels. So you take those six satchels and basically place them all over this place. Uh, that You'll see there's different spots I'll show you. Uh, like there's one right here, investigate, compromise, support. So that's one place you'd put it. I'll of course show you guys where to put these. So um, make it through here, get the satchels, place them. I believe there's three floors to this place, and there's two places you need to place them on each floor. Uh, if you got, get caught anywhere through this, you will be taken back to the beginning, and that's where it's kind of annoying. So you don't want to do like 10 to 15 minutes of work just to go back to the start and have nothing. Um, one thing that is good is if you get the satchels, you actually keep them no matter what. So if you get the satchels, like you won't have to get them again. Uh, the only bad part is if you get the explosives in the satchels and you get caught, then you have to put the explosives back in again. You'll get a message that says basically um, you fall into the water and the explosives get wet or something like that. So um, some of the tips I can show you guys, I will show you in a second. So now that you guys know the basic idea behind what you're supposed to be doing here, uh, the first thing I wanted to show you was that there is a lot of spots you can basically hide in. As you'll see compared to all the other spots here, there's big gaps you can hide in and basically the monkey will go right past you. And <laughs> this guy, yeah, this is pretty annoying. So you'll see he just walks past you. So make sure you guys utilize these spots. Also, it would be very beneficial for you to learn the routes these guys go. Just watch them for a little bit and see how far they go so you know where they stop and where they continue so you don't get caught by them. 
like I said, take your time through this. It's definitely going to end up being better for you. And then if you take your time, if you rush this, you're probably going to end up quitting. So the next tip is actually, it might be a glitch. I'm not sure. But basically what you do is um, you sit at it like a corner. And when the monkey is going to come past you, you click a few spaces away from them. And you'll actually run through them. Um, it's probably not meant to be like this. And it's kind of glitchy. So I'm going to show you guys that really quick. I might end up getting caught here if I do it wrong. But I'm just going to try to find a monkey. So I'm going to wait for this guy to come over here. I'm going to stand in a corner. So find corners like this where you can stand in and you know their path is to come past you. So when this guy comes past you, you're going to click past him. So just wait till he's about to come around the corner. And when he comes around the corner, you run past him and you'll see that he won't catch you. Uh, I'll try to do another example of this in a second. So let me get another corner right here. So this guy's about to come past me. Get in the corner. Actually, I'm going to get caught here because he didn't run past me. But you guys get the point. Um, just abuse the corners and like that little glitch where you can run through them here i'll just do it again really quick uh sorry if this is gonna be really long and rambly i just want to get this point across because it's gonna be a pain in the ass for you guys so here he comes around the corner click away from him and you'll see that this guy got caught but i ran past the monkey um sorry if this is repetitive like i said again but i'm gonna show you guys one more time just in case you don't understand what the hell i'm talking about so i'm gonna chill in this corner right here once he comes past you click away from him and you'll run right through him so Utilize that through this whole thing, and it will make your life a lot easier. I'm gonna actually, actually, I'm not gonna try that again because this guy goes over here. But I'm actually gonna get caught now on purpose and go back to the start. And basically, what I want you guys to do is try to follow me through this whole thing. I don't know how many times I'll end up recording this to get this right, but I'll show you guys the pathway to the satchels first, so you guys can get those since that's the hardest thing to do. So, um, as I just got caught, make sure you guys get ready to do this and basically follow the pathway I take. Remember to take your time or you're going to hate yourself. All right, so once you guys reach this spot, you're pretty much safe if you want to take a break. Um, keep in mind, if you get caught anywhere through here, you'll be taken back to the start, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, it's taken me probably 15 tries to get up here, so don't think I did this on my first try because I didn't. Um, the more you go through these, the more you'll learn and remember uh, the routes these guys take. I think from what I've done so, uh, so far right now, that's the biggest tip I can give you. Like, Take your time so much. I know I've been saying it, but it's so true. Take your time and learn the routes these guys take and look for these spots like if you're in one of these spots watch the two monkeys that go past you and look for the next spot and know when you can run without them catching you so i'm gonna continue doing this um i think i have to get somewhere over here and go up a ladder to get to the satchel so i'm gonna continue going right now and hopefully i can get to the satchels So once you guys reach the end of this part, go up this ladder. And now we are going to make our way this way to the right. So just continue following where I go.
so you guys will reach this ladder over here, go down it. And then the final place we need to go to get the satchels is over here. Uh, but don't believe there's any monkeys over here. Hopefully there's not. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's any monkeys over here. So once you guys get down that ladder, go ahead and run all the way over here. And you will see that there are chests. Basically take six satchels from these crates. So once you guys get your six satchels, I'd actually recommend you guys get caught on purpose because I think the route to the explosives is actually faster if you go from the start. And since you guys have gone through this so much probably to get up there, you probably know how to do this better by now. And I believe it's easier than the other route. So make sure you guys uh, get caught and go back to the start. And basically just follow where I go again. It's that first ladder we were at at the start where I paused the first time. That's where we're going now. So I'll continue recording it, but basically just follow it. If you guys know where I'm going, you can just skip it and go there. So I'll see you guys once I reach that ladder again. Alright, so once you guys reach this ladder again, climb up it. Another thing I wanted to mention too is the path I'm following right now from the start. If you guys do get caught with the explosives in your satchels, this is the route you need to take again to get back to the explosives. So just keep note of that. So I'm going to continue now, keep following where I go to get to the explosives. Once you guys reach this ladder right here, go down it, and then I believe the explosives are over here. So this barrel over here, so we need to make our way over there. Alright, so now that we are at the explosives, you guys know the route to take here if you, for some reason, get caught and fall in the water. Um, I believe once you actually place these satchels, uh, you never have to do them again. So say you guys place three of these in the right spots and then you end up getting caught. You don't have to go get more satchels. Those satchels are already done. You just have to go get more explosives. So I know I've been saying this whole time if um, you fall in the water that you have to refill these. So if you guys actually do fall in the water, make sure you inspect it and you can tell the difference. It'll say this satchel is empty. Um, to basically to fill these up, you just click search and then if you inspect it again, It'll say it's primed with explosives. So if you guys do fall in the water with your uh, satchels with explosives in them, uh, just make sure um, if it still says they have explosives, then you don't need to come back here, but I'm pretty sure you do. So that's the way you can check to see if you need to or not. So once you guys get over here, basically click this six times and fill up your satchels with the explosives. Also, let me unfilter my chat. So once you guys see this message six times, or rather once it doesn't work anymore, you know you have filled it up. So it says you have no more satchels to fill. So once you guys have all of these ready, follow where I go. The first spot you need to plant these explosives is actually right up this ladder over here. So I will see you guys up there. So once you guys get over here, climb up the ladder. And now over here you will see it says investigate compromised floorboards. So now you simply just use your set one of your satchels on it. So that is one of six. Uh, I'll see you guys at the next spot. Just continue following where I go. So once you guys get over here, climb down this ladder. And then we are going to be heading over to the center right here. So you just have to get past this one monkey. So once you guys are over here, use the satchel on this compromised support pillar. 
and that is 2 out of 6. So now let's continue and find the third one. So before we continue this, I wanted to mention as well, um, I'll probably end up putting like what floor I'm on in the top left corner or something so you guys get, you don't get confused if you get sent back to the start uh, because that might get really confusing for you guys. So this right here is the first floor. Um, this is basically where you come over here, you go up to this ladder I showed you guys. Uh, you probably know where you're at by now since you have to go through here a lot. I think there is only two floors, I don't know, there might be three, but this is the first floor right now. So let's go ahead and go to the next spot. So once you guys get over here, climb up this ladder. And then we're going to be heading west over here, and we need to swing across a vine. So once you guys see this vine right here, go ahead and swing across it. And now we're going to go head up the north path. Um, after we get up the north path and we place the satchel, we need to come back down this way south because there is another one over there. So I'm going to take the first path going north, so keep following where I go. Alright, so once you guys finally reach over here, I actually did fail and I had to go get the explosives back. So if you guys do get caught, you actually do have to get explosives back. Um, that was not fun. So try your best to take your time and not fail. Once you guys get here, use your satchel on the ground. And you have three left. So we need to go back the way we came now and go the southern route. So I'll see you guys at the next spot. So I just got caught again, so I need to go fill these back up. Um... You guys know where I was heading towards, going back down south towards the vine, so I'm going to continue recording once I am at the vine. If you guys did make it past there, just continue going south, and we'll basically meet up at the same spot in a second. Uh, once you guys see me reach there, you can continue following me. Alright, so I am back where I left off, or at least close to where I left off. Um, coming down this way is where I was going when I died, so if you guys are somewhere over here, this is basically where we're at. So I'm going to try to work my way down south now. Hopefully I can do it without dying because I do not want to go get these explosives again. So just continue following where I'm going. So once you guys get over here, climb up this ladder. And you might be able to see it. No, you can't. It's somewhere over here where you need to plant the next one. Uh, this section actually looks pretty hard from what I've seen, so hopefully I can get through it. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit, that spot is so close. So, oh my, you guys have to be very quick right there. That's very, very close. So once you guys reach this spot, make sure you use the satchel on the gas canister. And now you only have two left. This spot is very, very tricky. So make sure you guys pay attention to what I did or you might get screwed there. All right, guys, so the last two are actually backtracks, and they're pretty far away from where we're at. So if you guys do end up failing and having to go back to get the... um explosives again it's probably not going to be that bad i mean this is a pretty long way to go so just follow where i go take your time remember it's worth it to take your time so i'll see you guys at the next one oh please no please no fuck god damn it, i swear i clicked the right spot whatever so if you guys do, you know what, it's probably better to just fail, I don't know. So I'm, I failed again, so what I'm going to be doing is going back to the ladder. So if you guys did make it past that spot, what you're going to do is go down that ladder and then go back towards the vine. You guys remember where the vine is and swing across the vine to the other side towards the ladder and I'll see you guys over there. Alright, so I'm finally back over here with my explosive satchel. So if you guys did make it past that and you continue down south back towards the vine, the vines are over here. So just jump across the vine and you'll end up right here and then just run up to where I'm at and you guys will be right here. 
Uh, you should probably know the layout a little bit by now since you've been doing it for so long. So once you guys get back over here, this is also the second floor. Go ahead and head up this ladder right here to the third floor. And basically now what we're going to be doing is just following this path left all the way to the end. So hopefully I can make it there without dying and hopefully you can too because this is definitely a pain in the ass. Holy shit, guys. So, whew, I'm so happy I didn't fail. Um, make sure when you guys go up here, you use this spot in the top. Uh, I think this spot in the bottom will actually get you caught. So, once you guys get here, use your fifth satchel on the cylinder. And now you only have one left. We basically need to ba uh, backtrack to the very start. So, this is going to be a pretty long run. Just continue to follow where I go, and we can finally finish this. So once you guys get back over here, head back down the ladder. And once you go down that ladder, go ahead and head back down the ladder next to it. So now we will be on the first floor and now we need to backtrack. So guys, I actually stopped recording where I did because I got caught again, and I didn't really want to lead you guys into getting caught. I uh, posited a safe point, so if you guys are following me step by step, you'll probably still be at that same spot. So if you guys get there, I'll continue recording over there once I get back there. But I did want to show you guys where the last one is, just in case you want to do it on your own. It's right here, so it's very close to the start. You literally just run around this right here, and you're here. So if you guys want to do that on your own, that's the last spot. So if you want to fast forward to that, go for it. But if you want to see actually how to get down there because you're still confused on the routes, then uh, I'll continue recording when I get there. Okay, so the place I stopped recording, if you look at the minimap, was right here. So basically what I did was had to go back, and this is the way you go to fill up the satchel. So to make basically just make your way over there, and you'll end up right here. And then we need to make our way back down this way. So hopefully I can make it down there without losing again because if I get caught, I'm probably going to kill myself. All right, guys, so we finally freaking made it. This has been, okay, you guys may have been watching this thing. I didn't mess up. I messed up probably about 10 times and had to refill these like 10 times. It's taken me, this took me probably about four hours, so I'm happy this is finally over. So use your final satchel on this. Make sure, this is very important once you guys do this, make sure you press the space bar. Because if you don't do that, if you get this message and you click off of it, it's a glitch and you might get screwed. So make sure you guys hit the space bar or, or click continue or you're going to get screwed from that. So now make sure you guys get caught. Do not teleport out. So find the nearest monkey to you and get caught on purpose. So you'll send me back to the start now, and then you can basically go back on the raft and get back to the island. So once you guys get back over here, climb down the ladder. And you've finally finished this freaking part. So now I need to go and talk to Garkor, so I'm just going to minigame teleport because I don't have any teleports because I forgot them. But basically, go ahead and head back to a bank because it's going to be quicker than running back over there. 
So go back to the bank, and there's a few items that we need to get out, so we'll see you at the bank. Alright guys, so we are almost done with this part. Once you're at, back at the bank, make sure you have Crooks, Monkey, Grigory, a chisel, hammer, a light source, I'm going to use the candor and headgear, teleports to get back to a patrol, uh, some food, some stamina potions, um, I don't know if you need the monkey speak amulet, but bring it just in case, and graceful. So once you guys have all of that, go ahead and head back to Ape Atoll and head back over to Garkor. Don't forget to equip your monkey Grigri before you go down the stairs, so I'll see you guys back over there. So talk to Garkor again. So now we need to head back over to the cave we were in in Chapter 2. So I'll meet you guys back over there. I'll still record going the whole way in case you guys don't remember how to get over there. Alright, so once you guys are ready, go ahead and head down the trap door. Once you get down there, it will automatically unequip your Grigri. Just run a little bit north and it'll let you equip it again. And then climb over the monkey bars. Next, head through the crevice directly north of you, or the passage. Alright, once you guys get in here, go ahead and right click climb on the stunted gorilla. Now it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, you basically run downstairs and you have to fight these gorillas. So Glow is going to talk to you and think you're crook. And then basically your goal is to kill all three of these gorillas. Um, I don't know if you need really anything for this. I don't think they, they're they really going to kill you. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like you can eat food anyway. You might need some prey. So I'll add an annotation in for that to bring a prayer potion. Or at least to have prayer points, because it seems like you may need them. Alright, so once you guys finish killing all of them, go ahead and use this holding area, and you will remove the gorilla. Then you're going to want to go ahead and head back up these stairs over here. Uh, once you get up the stairs, unequip your Grigri. Actually, I guess you have to click climb stairs. So climb up the stairs, unequip your Grigri, and then run north and you will see a device. On the device, right click and tamper it. And you will see that you get a charged onyx. So now you want to use your chisel on the onyx. And then it will become a deconstructed onyx, and then you want to use that back on the device. Make sure you guys go through all of these talking options too. Make sure you don't click off of them. Alright, so once you guys have finished that, go ahead and investigate one of these incubation chambers. And after that, we need to head back to Garkor. So I will add another annotation in this telling you guys to bring two teleport runes for Apatol so you don't have to go back to the bank. However, if you don't see that annotation because I am forgetful, just teleport out get more runes. It's not really that big a deal. It's pretty quick. So get more runes and then head back to Ape Atoll and head back to Garkor. Alright, so the final stretches of the quest, guys. Once you're back at Garkor, talk to him. Once you finish talking to him, go ahead and head back to talk to the king. So I don't know what the king's going to say. Basically just spam through the options. And finally, go and talk back to Garkor, and you should be finished with Chapter 3. So once you finish talking to him, make sure you check your Monkey Madness 2. Oh, it looks like there's a cutscene first. So I'll play some music through the cutscene. <laughs> All 
All right, so once the cutscene is over, check it, and you will see you have completed Chapter 3. So this is a pain in the ass of a chapter. I thought the tunnels were bad, but this platform, like, it was so bad. I tried to explain it to you guys as much as I could. I know it was pretty long. I think it was like 20 minutes on the platform. But I did want to show you guys every single pathway and not skip past anything because that's kind of confusing. So I hope you guys didn't get too pissed at that and take it out on me. That would suck kind of kind of badly because that, you know, I was pretty frustrated doing it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please leave a like if you did. This took a lot of time and effort to make. Uh, making a quest guide on that platform is not something I ever want to do again. So I'll hopefully have actually chapter 4 and 5 uh, out tomorrow. I want to try to complete the quest tomorrow. So uh, once again, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It would mean a lot to me. And I will see you guys tomorrow with the final parts of this quest.